The consequences of environmental degradation due to oil pollution from long years of oil exploration activities in the Niger Delta region and desert encroachment in the northern parts of the country has become a constant threat to the health of the people. Lawmakers in the Green Chamber are proposing amendments to existing environmental laws that will address the situation through a bill titled A Bill for an Act to Amend the National Environmental Standards and Regulations Enforcement Agencies Act sponsored by Honorable Sadiq Ibrahim from Adamawa State. Mr. Speaker, another thing is about the air that we breathe. In our big cities like Lagos, Ibadan, Port Harcourt, Abba, Onicha, Umwahia, Kano and Kaduna, Mr. Speaker, the air is full of carbon monoxide, which is produced by fumes from factories and automobiles. But since all these happenings are certainly the results of human activities, there is a need to tell ourselves that we must change our ways in order to preserve and protect the environment for all generations to come. In supporting the bill, lawmakers say the greatest impediment to the act is that it lacked the power for enforcement. They call for amendments to the bill to make for effective compliance. The negative effect of gas flaring, the impact on the people of the Niger Delta region, what they experience on a daily basis is more of an acid rain, corrosion on a regular basis, great health implications. And unfortunately, when you get into this zone, Mr. Speaker, you will realize the heat that comes in that area in the night. The life expectancy in that area is dropping on a regular basis. And I think one other important thing that the committee will do in respect of this bill is not just only punishment or probably charging fees, but making sure that they bring to the barest minimum, and I repeat, the barest minimum, any kind of emission into the air. We all know carbon monoxide is very dangerous to one's health. If you inhale a certain dose of it, the resultant effect is death. We've seen it happening with people who operate generators. If you operate a generator in a closed environment, the smoke that is being emitted, for, emitted from the uh, uh, generator contains carbon monoxide, which is very, very dangerous to one's health. Lawmakers were unanimous in their suggestions that a stiffer penalty and sanctions should be imposed on offenders as the bill passed through second reading. The Speaker, Yakubu Dogara, however, referred the bill to the Committee on Environment and Habitat for further legislative input. Emmanuel Higgine, PTV News.